Ah, thank you, Andrew. You know, food trucks are kind of like the front lines of the Savannah culinary community. Mm -hmm. The people who operate them are the server, their chef, they are uh, entrepreneur, they are the marketing manager. They it's clean a, up after they themselves, do, too. They do it all, and it is a lot of work that one Savannah couple could not wait to take on so they could get back to cooking for the community. The name starts to tell the story of Veronica Evans and Van Cooper's new food truck, but it's only a start. We sat down and thought about it, and we said, well, we might as well find our own niche in the world. That idea went into action out of necessity and for the second time two months ago, when the couple opened the concept food truck. We got up, we brushed ourselves off, and we said, all right, this is, well, what, what can we do next? Evans and Cooper were working together at a restaurant that shut down at the start of the pandemic, leaving them out of work but not out of ideas. They first opened the concept in their backyard, serving takeout meals to whoever could find them. We was getting good at it. We got a nice crowd, we had nice people, loved us. People just, they gravitated to it because everything was shut down. Me and my husband remained safe, it was just me and him. Until it was a steady stream of customers coming to the east side home day and night that got the attention of neighbors and the city. People were, complaining about the traffic and this, that, and the third. And honestly, the city really wanted us, they, they knew about us. They wanted us to continue doing what we were doing. And so March of last year, they were like, that's it. You know, you can't do it anymore. And, um, and in June, I went through a, a really bad depression because of it. You know, just everything was just falling down and stuff like that. But Evans and Cooper's concept could not be kept down. By March of this year, they had transitioned to the food truck model and were reuniting loyal customers with their cooking. Lamb chop, ribeye, tomahawk steaks, we had hamburger, we had fish, we had shrimp, we had crab chicken, cakes, crab cake, uh, stuffed salmon. Stuffed salmon. <laughs> oh, we had a menu. They are usually at Keller's Flea Market and the Wilmington Island Farmer's Market on the weekends and rotate locations throughout the city during the week, posting where they will be on social media and their old friends keep finding them. I used to drive from Port Wentworth to the east side three times a week and spend at least $60. <laughs> Wherever they go, I follow. Wherever they go. She just pulled up one Thursday, and so I've been coming back every week since I've been back, and it's good to support a real person, and uh, I'll be back every time she's here. And uh, I'm following her on Instagram now, so I'm trying to see where she is so I can always find her. That reaction from longtime customers has meant as much to the couple as the consistency of their new business. We just love people, and we love to feed people. We love people to eat our food and just hum, and <laughs> just be sitting there humming. That's what we're doing, slapping their leg and talking about how good it is. We love to cook. That's our joy and our passion, and we like to see the smile on people's face when they tell us, your food is great. Your food is good. I love it. You can tell when you eat their food. They love it, and I love them for it. They're just a great, a great couple, you know, and you can see that they love to be together, and they love working, doing what they're doing. And now they love taking their concept all across the city. We wanted to be in business for ourselves, and the butterfly on our trailer um, that we have, it signifies the freedom to be able to cook exactly what we love. We wake up, we be saying, well, we gotta go out to do now. <laughs> we gotta go to a southern division to feed 150, 250 people. We hook them book and roll out. <laughs> <laughs> Shows that a lot of businesses just start with an idea, right? A concept. Mm -hmm. I mean, they knew we want to do something in the food industry. When they lost their restaurant jobs, they had no choice but to do it for themselves. Yeah, and it's kind of cool. They knew they had something when they were starting to get traffic yeah. complaints coming to the house. <laughs> it's great that they were able to, to establish this. Food trucks are awesome because, one, it's either a, a brick-and-mortar restaurant right. that's taking its food out so it kind of comes to your community, or it's something like this where you have to go find them or you, you know, they're, like you said, marketing manager, they tell you this is yeah. where we're going to be, and then you st st see people start to show up there. And yeah. line up we're going to get them in the morning break kitchen uh, pretty soon, nice. get them uh, doing some cooking for us, and maybe go on the food truck and see how they do things there. But uh, just a, a great couple doing what they love. It's pretty awesome. All right, still to come, uh, Juneteenth is one week from